Hello and welcome back to my Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist Let's Play. So, let's just get straight into it. The Dark Spirit Revealed. It was now time for the Battle City Tournament Finals. Hey, look Joey, Yugi and Mai! I've never... Mokabu, Mokabu, <laughs> Mokaba has not been in this before, so uh... Yeah... I don't know what his voice is going to be like. Alright, I, I forgot. Check. I can't. I just can't do accents. Like, I can't do voices, to be fair. Like, let's be real. But at least I try, you know. Check. Check it out. Wait, what is it? I can't. I can't do it. I just can't. Check it out, Yugi. No, check it out. We we all got six locator cards. Ka Kaiba. Kaiba, Joey, and Yugi am I were the first four duelists to reach the finals. The fifth finalist soon arrived. It was Marek, using the fake name Namu. He befriended Taya and Joey during the tournament. His plan was falling into place. Yugi, meet our friend Namu. I've heard about you, Yugi. It's an honor to meet you. Surely he'd a bit, be a bit suspicious with all the like gold Egyptian looking jewelry on, you'd think, right? Uh, any friend of Joey and Taya's is a buddy of mine. I'm so happy to be surrounded by such a welcoming crowd. I just hope everyone I meet tonight is as friendly as you people. Hey, that's Bakura. What's he doing here? What are you doing wearing a dual disc? How else could I win six locator cards and enter the finals? Rewind a sec. When did you join the tournament? Join? <laughs> Tristan's voice that I've decided for him is just kills me. Julian, how do you make it all the way to the finals? The seventh finalist, fi seventh, seventh finalist arrived just in time for Bakora to change the topic. Hey, look, it's the seventh finalist. This guy looks familiar, and that's a mug you don't forget. Yeah, well, you think you get it, you know, with the Egyptian looking earrings and the, uh, are they hieroglyphic by the looks of it? Tattoos on his face? State your name! I am Marek. Marek's henchman, Odeon, assumed Marek's name to hide Marek's true identity. It was all part of Marek's plan. I'll, I'll kick your brainwashing keister. You are no match for me, fool. The only reason I ain't tossing you out of out by your cape right now is I can save my and just take you down the finals. Got that, pal? <laughs> I I think I scared him, you. Oh, come on, like... It should be Tink, at least. I think I scared him, but you, you know, not Dink. Now that seven of the eight finalists arrived, Kaiba announced that even though their locator cards led them to this location, it wasn't the site of the Battle City Finals. At that moment, Kaiba's blimp arrived. Once they were aboard, it was time for the final duel between Yugi and Bakura. Yugi knew there was something not right with Bakura. I know that's not Bakura. It's the evil spirit of the Millennium Ring, and I bet he's still after the seven Millennium items. This duel's going to be tougher than everyone thinks. I must... Wait, wait, wait. No, that's Yugi stuff. I must win. The fate of the world depends on it. Are you prepared to lose it all? Why the fuss? What's around Bakura's neck? Namu, it's it's kind of hard to explain, but that's not really Bakura. Yeah, see, <laughs> Yugi and Bakura both have these real old objects that have magic powers. Yugi's item is good, but Bakura's item is bad because an evil spirit lives inside it. So you're telling so you're telling me there's an evil spirit up there dueling Yugi? That's hard to believe. The team had no idea that Namu was actually Mac, and that the evil spirit possessing Bakura was working for him. Now that... no, not Yugi. Now that the introductions are over and are done with, why do we pick this tool? <laughs> okay, okay, Marek, let's do this. So, um, this time, uh, I'm, uh, recording using something different. You see my stuff, my program that I used to use to record 
not loading up for some reason. So this time I'm using. Uh, oh god, we got Sniper Cluster. This time I'm using um, OBS. Whether that works well or not, I don't know. If it does, I'm happy because the the one I was using before was really like temperamental. So yeah. Anyway, let's set discard. Hmm. Uh, you cannot do yeah. Uh, I'll play it as a ploy. Maybe he'll think it's a trip good. Ah, oh, in my face. Oh yeah, that's right, he's a destiny board. Deck. Once per turn during your opponent's end phase, place one spirit message. Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, you can attack that all you want, I don't care. Reflect rage. Wait a minute. Uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, during your opponent's end phase, place one spirit message card from your hand or deck in your spell and trap cards zone face up in the proper order of INAL. When any spirit message card or destiny board you control leaves the field, send all spirit message cards and destiny board you control to the graveyard. Uh, when this card and all four spirit message cards with different names are placed on your field, you win the duel. Great, so I've got a, I've got a win <laughs> in that time. Um, ah, great. Uh, 1300. Well, no, I'm not going to activate that. I'm going to activate, activate the, uh, the badly face. Yeah. Okay, how the hell am I gonna win this? In three turns. Two turns, I guess. One, he'll use one. Two, yeah, okay, two turns. Crap. Hmm, how about Magnet Warrior? Well, I know for a fact. Do that. Can control Kelly Guardian. And I could Soul Exchange Big Shield Gardener. But then I wouldn't. Nah, it's not gonna work. Not, not the best way to do it. Alright, Soul Exchange. And tribute. If you tribute monster, you must tribute that monster. Yeah, okay, let's get rid of this one. Then let's summon. Dark Magician. See, I should keep Big Shield Garden on the field just for defense. But I feel like he's not gonna go defensively, so I'm just gonna sacrifice it. We gotta deal as much damage to him as we can. Um, before. Damn it, why is it saying it? Before uh, the end of the duel, so. But, uh, yeah. Oh, right. Oh, this isn't gonna work then. <laughs> Whoops. I can't summon Slifer either. Crap. I, probably, I could have summoned Slifer last turn. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, this ain't, this ain't gonna work. I can inflict 2500 to him this turn, that's it, and then he wins next turn, legitimately. What? It's another thing again. Of course it is. He just like. I'm trying. Yeah. God damn it. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just one about magic attack. See, if we were in a position of winning, I wouldn't mind that animation too much, but we're not, unfortunately. Because now we lose. My destiny board. God damn it. What a jerk. Attack often to win before Destiny Wars, but I know, but he did it on the first turn. Stupid. Yeah, 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 we've seen this. We know. Come on, story deck. Let's go, let's go. Cobra Man, Sakuzi? No, I did. Alright. Yami Yugi versus Yami Bakura. I want to go first this time. So 
fucking set up before he'd start playing stupid Destiny board cards. Or at least try to. Uh, uh, is good. See, don't have one though. Don't, like, got two of them cards, no Dark Magician in my hand. Oh. Whatever, I'll play that face down. And end phase. Alright. What are the chances of getting two of the exact same card in my hand? Alright, we got a defense for this. No. 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 Still no. End turn. Turn change. Draw phase. Summon skull. Alright, summon skull's good. I'll summon. I will summon. Summon skull. In attack position. Oh, we had just realized he, he didn't activate Destiny Ball yet. Whether he has it or not, I don't know, but there we go. Did he start with less life points? No, right? No? God, I don't know anymore. Alright, yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Seems like he's already down, you know, almost 2,000 or whatever. Set this and summon Silver Fang. I'd like to attack with Silver Fang, but they don't trust it enough, so I'll attack with Summon Skull. Fine. Could have attacked with Silver Fang, but this is fine. This is all fine. Now he activated Destiny Board. Okay. Hi. Good. Great. No. Y yes. I don't know. Life Force Sword, why not? Just choosing one randomly anyway, and I won't get to see it, so. I might steal a cage. Oh, god damn it. Why would you do that? The only. F why? The only fiend type must have got. Why would I. Why would you ever do that? And I can't attack anyway. Fuck. Because the nightmare steal cage, so. God damn it. He'll have two turns. One. At the end of his turn, I'll like, like my steel cage. Or oh, the end of my turn, I should say. We'll activate Nightmare Steel Cage. He will literally get it the turn after Nightmare Steel Cage. Like. That's ridiculous. That's now gone. Next turn, he gets that. What can I even activate? I don't care. Shut up. Yeah, th th there's nothing I can do at all. Look, I, you know, can't do anything with Big Shield Garda. No, stop. I wish I'd never played that damn card, I swear to god. Destroyed that. Probably take damage from this. Yeah. Can't do anything there. End turn and use him in the last Destiny board. Is there, like, what the hell? I just have to get RNG and be lucky? Because he wins again. What the hell? This is so annoying. You shut your mouth, stupid infinite. Infinite, whatever the hell your name is, I don't care. Stupid. I actually think it's better to go first against him because you can put a monster on the field without him activating the trap card of the F, a final, whatever the hell it is. And he doesn't attack, so magic sense is like useless to me. Just set this for now, try and get some early defense damage. Hopefully he doesn't summon something over that. Attack power. No he didn't, it's hanging in. Good. That's probably F. Very tempted to activate that. 
Yeah, screw it. Cause destruction. Oh, we definitely discarded this spirit. Uh, blah, 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 whatever message. You know, I don't have a fusion, but where the hell is uh, Valkyrie or whatever? The Magnet Warrior. Should I summon? No. No. Summon new Gamma the Magnet Warrior. Spell Winning Circle. Not gonna do it. Activate you. Sure. It's fine with me. Direct attack. Okay. Alright, alright. We're making progress. We're making progress. We're making progress. We're making some progress. I'm sure he has duplicate copies of final, to be honest. We've damage till the end of the opponent's next turn. He didn't activate the F final. Ooh. If that is F final. We'll never know. No one can take damage this turn right anyway, so. I'll right, activate this just to see what he's got. It's another Sangin. Totally fine with this. What do I got? Nothing. Uh, what has he got? This card sent from the fields of graveyard. Add one monster with 1500 less attack from deck to hand, but you cannot activate cards or the effect of cards. So that one trap card from your deck and place it in the end. Doesn't matter. Uh, we don't. That doesn't matter. Graveyard destroy special summon monsters. Okay, I'm just gonna activate Monster Reborn. Bring up Sangin. No, I'm not changing into the card. In attack position. Since it's special, then I'm gonna sacrifice it for Dark Magician Girl. No, I'm not changing into the card. Why does he get the card? Why don't I get it? Stop it. Screw it. Battle phase. No, I'm not gonna click. Damn card, I swear to god. I'm gonna stab someone. God damn. Whatever. Attack with beta. And attack with that magician girl. Oh, Alright, no one takes damage. Yeah, that's fine. I'm an idiot. Totally forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. Necrophia. Can't be normal summon set. Must first be special summoned. Eventually, three fiends from your graveyard. Take from the graveyard. Uh. Phase if this card is in the graveyard because it was destroyed by an opponent's card this turn. A battle or card effect and sent to your graveyard. White was a monster card under your control. Target one face of monster you your opponent controls. Equip this card to the target. While this card is equipped to a monster by this effect, take control of that monster. Holy crap. No. Ah, Dark Magician. No, I wanted him to attack, but he's not doing it. Ah, crap. Let's go by our phase. I can't destroy that yet. No. Of course, it's a Sangin. Oh, not Magician Girl animation again. Here we go, here we go. My plan is for him. I'm assuming he should attack, right? He should switch that to attack mode, try and destroy Dark Magician Girl. At which case, I will use my magic cylinder. Then activate Spellbinding Circle so that it can't attack. Summon Dark Magician to Dark Magic attack it. And then Dark Magician Girl. Uh, I need to play the graveyards, okay. 
So at the end of his turn, Soldier of Rain Light should break, I believe. Alright, look at how many cards he's got in his hand. You know, I genuinely think that, uh... No, I genuinely think that uh, the effects of card destruction helped me because it, I think it got rid of one of his final pieces or whatever it's called. I need to sneeze. Ah, oh, I, I sneeze so hard. No, stop it. Okay, turn down, just stop, just get out. Gains 700 attack points when this card is sent from the field to go to the Gain a thousand life points. Okay. Come on, buddy. I might not, I might not even need to do summon Dark Magician now, actually. Oh, I didn't I stupid. I didn't attack his monster. Monsters, that's inefficient. If this card is normal summon, target one monster your opponent controls during the third time of phase after this effect. Destroy that monster. This card cannot be destroyed by battle when the target's monsters on the field. Crap. Well, obviously, I would assume they chose Dark Magician Girl. Oh, oh. oh. Right, I'll set this. Okay, let's go. Bow phase. You attack you. Destroy that, easy. Uh, you, I mean, you can't, I can't destroy that. Can inflict damage to it though, right? Yes. Fine. Yes, I will activate spellbinding circle. Actually, this is helpful. Now we can't change the battle position of that. So that's 500 attack constantly in attack position that can't be destroyed by battle. No point. What am I activating? Life of Sword? Okay. I don't care. That one it is. Yes. Magic Cylinder. I love that card. Like, Magic Cylinder is so good. Negates the the damage to you and reflects it back to your negates the uh, the battle and uh, reflects it back to your opponent. I'm all for that. Holy crap! Um, at this point, it's inefficient to summon Dark Magician when I could just summon summon Skull. So I will just summon summon Skull. Then I will activate Magic Formula. Dark Magician Girl, increase her attack. And the bow phase. Let's see what's the best way to do this. You. Uh, 2000. Or. Oh, I think it's the same either way, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, whatever. Dark Magic. Attack or whatever it is, without which to kill, I don't remember. And then you attack you. Finally beat Bakura third times the charm. Oh my god. Bakura, you okay? Hey? Where am I? You're with your friends now, Bakura. I'm glad Bakura's okay. The Millennium Ring is a lot like my puzzle. It holds an ancient spirit that depends on someone else so it can exist. And even though the spirit of the ring is evil and controls Bakura against his will, it seems to still need Bakura in order to survive. But there is one major difference between Bakura and I. What's that? The spirit inside my item is my friend, and you and I are always there to support each other no matter what comes our way. You were there to help me when my grandfather was in trouble, and now I'm here to help you rescue the world from evil. I promise that together we'll figure out the secrets of your ancient past and how to unlock your hidden powers before Marit can take them. Because your destiny is mine too, and we're gonna win. That's right. This was a tough duel, but thanks to our teamwork and the heart of the cards, we came out on top. Now we're headed for round two, and we're gonna take it all the way. Alright. So, new campaign, The Awakening of Evil. Dark Spirit Revealed. Reverse duel. Uh, final Destiny from Bakura. 
the Burning Abyss, uh, Challenge Deck, and Dark Necrophia, Headless Knight, Spirit Message Out, and 1717.